our first topic is about a film that's been delayed to the end of July of 25. This, of course, being the brand new mm. Fantastic Four logo poster. Mm. We got, man, we got the cast. We were eating Sorry. good with this one. Like, also, funnily enough, this the, them delaying it to July means Thunderbolts is now in May. So it, Thunderbolts is yeah. before Fantastic Four again. So, like, yep. <laughs> I just want to know, like, are they like replacing it with a lot of other stuff? Because I remember, was it? King, was it King Dynasty or that was supposed King to be Dynasty was the first Avengers one, uh, yeah. yeah. So, and that's so. still apparently coming out in twenty six. So, so <laughs> Fantastic Four took their spot. So the, yeah. everything's been yeah. shifting okay. just back and back further. Oh, um, yeah. Now um, it's it's cool. Um, I like all the um acting choices, same. but um, I'm here for three quarters of them. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, they they got him. Uh, his uh, co-actor that he needs to speak off of. I was going to say. I saw they, they added Herbie. You so. realize Herbie's going to be a depressed suicidal robot, right? Like, <laughs> Oh, man. I hope... Um, oh, who wrote Hitchhiker's Guide? Because he oh, has the man. market cornered on depressed robots. <laughs> uh, why, 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 why do a lot of uh, robots have to be depressed? I mean, you'd be depressed yeah. too if you were a robot. So... Okay, so let's rewind for a second because we've known for a couple weeks now. It was like, okay, it's official. We are 100% getting Pedro. That was confirmed last week. We talked about it. Vanessa Kirby, we've heard she was locked in like September at least. And then yeah, yeah. what's crazy about this is Joseph Quinn was rumored at one point, right? And then it kind of went away. People are like, no, they're going after somebody else. There was like one of those fan posters from like October that got all three of them correct. And the thing just in that fan poster also looked comic accurate. And that's what he's going to look like. It's like, yeah, I think we kind of known this cast for the better part of half a year. It's just, I say, if you go back to September, I think it was September, mm -hmm. something like 16th, mm -hmm. 17th of last year. Ironically, the DCU leaks on Twitter was the only one to get it right. Wow. Oh man. Like how? <laughs> <laughs> this is more stuff like get out of this lane. Like I'm not sure if it was like confirmed or anything, but I was I was seeing that they were saying it was going to be a period piece where it's going to be in the 60s. Oh yeah, yeah. It, well, I mean, you just got to look at the con the, the poster, right? It's yeah. it's the six. It's, if it's not the 60s, it's the early 70s. It's like I mean, you look at it, and cl clearly people are automatically figured out. If you look at what Ben Grimm is reading, it's the cover of Life magazine in mm -hmm. 1963. Say that's 63, issue. but if you look yeah. at the painting of Ben behind him, yep, he's yep. wearing the astronaut suit. That's from 67. Right. So, it, mm -hmm. how? I mean, I got a suspicion that we're gonna do the quick catch up of hey, here's when they went to school. Here's where they met Victor Von Doom. Here's a couple years later now. Hey, now we're at the first launch, right? Let's. Do we put Doom in this though? Uh, you're gonna have to mention well, Victor Von Doom and the yeah, relationship, least... but I don't think you need. Yeah. I don't think yeah. you need Doom Doom. I think you need Victor. You know? Yeah, yeah I yeah. could see like cameos and stuff by Victor pre Doom. Yeah. In this uh -huh. movie. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, know. I feel like. Everything we know about this film now, which is quite a lot, all things considered, with what they confirmed to us. I like pretty much everything I'm seeing and what we're hearing. It's all, it's kind of shaping up to be the Fantastic Four film we need, if, if that's like a good way to explain it. Yeah, um, yeah. It's different than the other ones. You know, it's like, oh, modern day for the old ones. Well, we can't do that again. Well, we can't go super dark and we can't do, well, we tried that. It's like, they're doing something different, which I can appreciate. And at the same time, the cast, a lot of it out of left field still. It's like, you know, I never have Pedro Pascal on my bingo card for. I, I would say Pascal is the only left field one. I think the other three are kind of like everyone's Krasinski read. Right. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Joseph Quinn, from the moment I saw him in Stranger Things, everybody was like, what if Human Torch? Oh, well, and okay. we've been cursed ever since, and now we're cursed again. It's kind of true. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, Pedro. <laughs> I mean, I like him, I think he's a great yeah. actor. It's just like, hmm, okay. I mean, the end of the day, is... right? They've given him a small robot to act against. He's fine. <laughs> well, exactly. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to have a reference to it where he's going to be carrying Herbie around on his back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 
I'm I'm excited. Everything looks good in my opinion. Um, obviously yeah. with the July release date, it means that the shoot has been pushed back from this month mm -hmm. when it was supposed to start to meet the May release date. But Thunderbolt is starting up, which means that Fantastic Four will start up within the next two months. So mm -hmm. it's it, it's kind of crazy that Marvel Studios, after a couple years of stumbling, if you look at their next three years, they're back in the full hey. This is like when we were a well-oiled machine between Age of Ultron and Endgame. They're right back at that now. Like, you know, like I, I do have a question. Like, like um, who, who are gonna, who is it gonna be the next big three? If if they're gonna use like the Fantastic Four, it'd be like Reed Richards. Um, I don't think he's do. I think it's like. Um... Like the old shonen, right? You you, you have yeah. a big three. You have like one piece Naruto and Bleach. Yeah. You don't have another big three. I agree. Cause, yeah. Because for the most part, it would probably be like Reed Richards, Stephen Strange, and then I don't know who else at this point. See, they would if 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 it did happen, it would have been Black Panther. But I don't know about this. Right. At, at yeah. This point. He, the plan was to Charla, Captain Marvel, and uh, Strange. I mean, my hope is it would be Sue Storm, uh, Captain Marvel, and Valkyrie, just to piss off the entire. Uh, Whammon hating, yeah. you know, types, but I can't get So you're that. saying you have an agenda there? Oh, no. I've been exposed. <laughs> I've been exposed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think they do the three, you know, main pillars anymore, whatever the hell you want to call them. It's just like whoever fits this. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I, I think is. with how phase four or five is going and how six looks, you, it's too late to establish a big three because you haven't yeah. had. Yeah, you haven't yeah. really done that same structure as phase one to three, so you can't really just be like, Oh, yeah, these are the focus, like the focus three now, All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, you get, yeah. if you're gonna have that, you, you do it at the start, right? Uh huh. No, I agree. Not that I'm blaming that. Bozeman, but losing Bozeman kind of threw that all in the air, so you couldn't really. I mean, they literally remember like reading the interviews and everything for T'Challa and what the plans were, they were like, Oh. We had everything charted out with this character, yeah. with the trilogy, and him being taken up, you know, one of the three spots. And then it's like, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just like, well, that's a, that plans in the end. <laughs> yep. I also think that's, it's not a, a, like a contributing factor to how everything's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. It's, it's, some people have said it's felt a bit aimless. It's just, it's aimless because they haven't, they're not aiming at anything necessarily at the minute. Like they have, right, it's, <laughs> they have secret wars down the line, but everything they had in between, like, I mean, yeah, that's that's all base okay. four and five literally felt like toss everything out there and then just we'll connect it all down the road. It kind of mm. it was yeah, just toss it all. So like you knew where they were going because they they told mm -hmm. us and it was kind of obvious in multiverse, but yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so. yeah it's like they know that they know the end game, but for me anyway it just looked like you know they're trying to piece it together right. as they went well, along yeah again we got to just remember if the pandemic didn't happen everything that we still haven't seen released was set to be out already like right now mm. we would be past everything they announced in 2019 and that's wild but we're still not yeah. even halfway through it now because of everything all the delays thank and <laughs> yeah it's god. crazy it's a pandemic and a strike thank thank god i never thought uh -huh. we'd have to this. right exactly so Look, we'll talk more about all this soon. Obviously, <laughs> there's going to be more news this year. They're going to start shooting Fantastic Four soon, so we'll have more reports. Yeah. Before we move on, uh -huh. I, I want I have a question for the pair of you. Do you think the suits in this are the suits we're going to get? Probably a variation of it. Yeah. Because yeah, I said yeah, yeah. no one talk about these, and the fact that Sue and Reed are wear, like their suits look like turtlenecks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, even right. the little like texture thing up top, is, I think it's adorable. Yeah, I kind of hope you do, they do go that route. Like, keep what you have right there. I think they they're different enough, but they look familiar enough. Yeah, I think you use that, and then when they get to the modern day setting, you're gonna update that and add a little bit more of the standard yeah. MCU flair. And then it's like, oh, classic new. And again, repackaging toys. That's gonna be the key here. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's um. Also, it's God help good. the hot toys when he's coming. Oh out. God. Oh yeah. I've already made the conscious choice to skip the Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm looking at looking at the uh, suits right now, and it seems that, well, for, at least for a couple of them, they're just retrofitted uh, astronaut suits, except for Reed and Sue. I say I can't remember if it's Ben or Johnny, but one that's like a, a Green Lantern, like the old, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a, 
Uh, I think it's banned. It, yeah, it's banned because he has the he has a white stripe across his. Uh, his yeah, uh, I mean, suit. it is. It, it's the. I mean, it's the proto suits, right? They're not like gonna yeah. MCU it up for that right there. So <laughs> they'll do that when they get into the modern day. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see what they do, but um, yeah, it's been good. Fantastic Four news mm. finally with us. Felt like this. So Stephen Strange was right. They charted in the 60s. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He was. He was. So there you go. 